U.S. Navy SEAL who was killed in a military operation in Somalia will be laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. 38-year-old Kyle Milliken, there's his picture, was killed during an operation last week on Friday against the extremist group Al-Shabaab. He is the first American to die in combat in the African country since 1993. Virginia Congressman Scott Taylor is a former Navy SEAL who knew Kyle Milliken very well for more than a decade and served with him in Iraq, and he joins us this morning to remember his friend and our country's fallen hero. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry for your loss. Good morning, Ainsley. It's great to be with you and, of course, to honor Kyle. Absolutely. Tell us about Kyle, what he was like. Uh, witty, consummate professional, uh, very, very funny. Um, clearly was going to be, was going to do great things in the, in the teams. That was clear very early on. Um, great family man. Uh, very fiercely loyal, great friend, family man, and, and teammate. So, Congressman Taylor, why was he over there? I know he's in Somalia fighting for our country, but what was the mission? Well, I, you know, there, there's counterterrorism mission in Somalia. Obviously, Al Shabaab posed a threat to to America. They've tried to recruit here, um, and and obviously pose a threat to American interests and Americans in general. Um, so that's that's why it's one of the reasons why we were there. But I think it is important. I would love to ask for prayers for, for his family, friends, and teammates uh, from Americans because I do believe it is appropriate. It's not, it wasn't just a few minutes in Somalia. He's, he and his family have sacrificed over many years for this nation. And quite frankly, uh, the unwavering courage in the face of adversity is something that has run through the veins of many Americans, including Kyle. And we are better for it, and we are better because they have lived. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned his family. Have you talked to them? I, I have. Um, they're they're strong. You know, um, our whole community is strong, and everyone comes together. It's a and this tragedy. It's a it's a, a beautiful thing that they do that. They are strong, but obviously this is a a, a huge uh, tragedy that hits everyone home. And uh, you know, we we feel for them. and We pray for them. Has a wife, and how many children does he have? Uh, he had two. He had two children, and and again, you know, we, our families are very strong. Uh, but these types of things, uh, unfortunately, but fortunately, uh, this is something that our community has dealt with for, for years now. So people know what to do. They know how to come together. Mm -hmm. They know how to, to uh, to hold and prop up those grieving families. And you know, again, we just uh, our thoughts and our prayers are out to them. What's your message to the American people that are watching? What can we learn from Kyle's story? Well, again, I, you know, I think that, you know, I may, perhaps I'm a little bit of a bit of an uh, idealist, but I, I think, you know, people like this who, who go forth in, in the face of adversity and sacrifice over and over again, I mean, this is something that is a, should be a, a beacon of hope in America. It should encourage and inspire Americans of, of every walk of life to do more for their country. To uh, you know, to not be as selfish, be a lot more selfless uh, in service to this nation in whatever capacity that is that you can do. Uh, but I think that he's an inspiration, uh, as others have been as well too. And, and, and Americans should should grieve, but should be inspired and should remember. Congressman Taylor, thank you for coming on to honor your friend and this American hero. There's his picture, Kyle Milliken. It's in our thoughts and prayers. His family is at least, and we will remember him. Thank you.